back to another Steam Plays Games video. Today we are doing a tutorial. We don't do this enough, but I think it's important that we do it sometimes because some people like to know some things in Roblox Studios that they don't know. So I say let's just do this. Uh, as you read by the title, probably this is how to improve your graphics. As you can see here, well, some of you may be like, "What do you mean graphics? Like Roblox doesn't have graphics, <laughs> or like you don't really think about the graphics." in roblox it's just kind of there um like these are default graphics uh all around but you don't really think how to improve them you probably never thought of that and if you did and you just don't know how cool i'm about to teach you today it's very basic it's not very hard so it's not really really much nothing much really uh no scripting nothing like that but anyway Let's get into it. So I first wanted to mention a new thing was added in the lighting system. Uh, I think this year, um, under lighting, now there is something called, uh, under technology folder and lighting, all I did was click on it. It's on default voxel, okay? Um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. But recently this year, I think they came out with what's called shadow map, and as you'll see here, this thing does say shadow map. Uh, and why if I know I'm gonna get a question in the comments that says I don't have it uh, Shadow map on there and Think back did you update studios a while ago that you updated at all and if you didn't um, Can you update it? Have you just been missing out? I don't know ask yourself that question But anyway, you want to click shadow map and instantly you see that it gets a little bit better nothing too major but it does get better there are more shadows now a lot of people say oh my gosh this looks so realistic but then again you haven't really seen anything yet uh, and I want to look at this like right here if I turn it back to voxel let's see the difference okay well nothing major just the shadows right here and here um, but yeah, it does make it look a little bit better, more realistic, I will say, with the shadows and everything. Because uh, without them, it's just kind of like, where's, where are the shadows? Uh, so yeah. Um, but this is not all we're going to do to enhance the graphics. Uh, there is, under lighting, many things you can do. So I'm going, I'm going to right-click... Uh, I'm having a lot of stutters today. I'm going to go down to insert object and I'm going to go to bloom effect Bloom effect is what you want. So after you get to bloom effect You're going to want to hold on wait a minute You're going to want to Change the intensity and size and threshold. All right. These are the things you want to pay attention to now if you want your graphics to look pretty good really good actually I would change this to 0.85 that's just me um, it's not gonna look like much right now but it will matter later uh, kind of when you're in the game you'll see uh, you won't really notice the bloom I guess it was just kind of be like you don't know where it's coming from but the bloom does do a lot 0.9 is what you want to get it to I'm trying to get it to 0.9 you know it's great there uh, so it does change some stuff and you know not immediately you're definitely not going to get anything yet uh, but then you go ahead and add some blur to it so you can add insert object all I did was right click once again uh, blur effect and it's going to be really blurry right now right um, so I want to change uh, where is it blur I want to change the size of it to around three that works for me you can go two or three I like three I just think it makes it a little bit better and you know that's with no blur this is with some but I like it at three it doesn't really look like much but it's there it's kind of just a hint um, which is good and now here's where the graphics get that much better all right this is what I'm talking about insert object color correction effect click on that now you click here and 
this is not that difficult. It's literally just turn up the saturation to one. Now look at the game. It's way brighter, right? Oh man, that looks great. It's kind of. It's just it's a bit much right now, right? So you can turn up the contrast just a little bit as long as you turn up the brightness with it. Um, I think this is a bit too much. You can turn this down to whatever you want. Uh, but it kind of just makes things pop, you know? Instead of that bland old world you're used to, it just makes them pop. Uh, makes them stand out. And then lighting, last one. This kind of this does a lot. Uh, not really, it doesn't really do much right now, you're not going to really see much, but sun ray effect. Sun rays are really important to a game, uh, I think, personally. Um, so yeah, you want to go to sun rays right here. You want to change the intensity to around 0.6, so bring it up a notch. And, you know, you can adjust it later if you think, oh my gosh, that's too much, right? Um, you can adjust it later. Spread, you want to keep it one, and that's basically it. Um, so yeah, sun, sun isn't really going to do much. I can change the time if I want um, here. I can make it day or night, but I want to keep it at day. And if you want to see the um, sun rays, I wouldn't turn it to noon, because the sun's right there, and it's not really going to shine anything. I would keep it around like 15. So, and the shadows also move along with the sun, which is really cool. Um, I'm glad this new update in Studios came out, but it's just, this map is better, right? I'm, that's my personal opinion, it just pops more, like, yeah, that does not really look like Roblox too much. I mean, it kind of does, but, because of the blocks, but just not that much. Um... So, and that's basically it, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test it real quick. Just want to play, uh, and we'll, you know, we can view the sundown and all that stuff, sunset, sunrise, just to see the reflection of the sun, not the reflection, but the, uh, the sun itself. Where is that sun? It should start popping out yeah there you go there's that brightness that we like but because because the more the more you get look at the sun the bright it's gonna get right but if you're right here oh man this is beautiful right don't you all agree like this is pretty good and even your character is enhanced just a little bit oh look at those opening doors everything works perfect but yeah, uh, this is of course a free model, uh, I think made by Roblox, so definitely not going to put this in a game or anywhere. Um, not that I have anything against free models, it's just like, this was made by Roblox, everyone knows it. So, uh, But yeah, the sun, it looks like it's going down, I didn't program it to do that. Okay. I guess it has, the game has its own day and night cycles, it's kind of cool. So yeah, you can see the sun go down going down pretty quick but even at night time it looks amazing everything just pops let me see if I can find a chair or something and show you like the detail in the chair yeah you see those little lines yeah that wasn't really there before I don't know I'm pointing out little tiny stuff that may not be true so but I just think this looks 10 times better than, let me press Control Z in a second once I get out of this. Let me show you what it used to look like if you already forgot, which I did, so don't feel bad. This is without bloom or anything. Bam. That's what that looked like before. I think it looks 10 million times better uh, with the brightness and the contrast. Just so you can see the changes go by. Bam. I think this looks better. Tell me what you think in the comments, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed. If you really, if you did enjoy, make sure to drop the like on this video, please. Please, please, please. I love likes. Uh, they actually make my day. And uh, comments. I love comments, too. 
And if you have a problem with anything and you want to tell me your opinion on this, just go ahead. Uh, I will be posting probably another Liberty County episode today. I'm not really feeling the, uh, the whole UKRC thing today. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we might just do Liberty County, which is fun. So, oh, and uh, I might do an escort today, actually. I was going to put in my Discord an escort. Um, so yeah. Also, I wanted to shout out my friend BlazeThread72. You should go check out his channel. Um, link will be in the description to his YouTube channel. We recently played Liberty County, and so, I mean, he is a really good YouTuber. He has around 309 now. He's been going for a while. Steadily going up, so he's getting to his goal of however much, <laughs> I'm sure. And uh, so, yeah, just go support him. And, yeah, also, one more shout-out. I have to do this, um, but Levi Snell is his name. Uh He's, he's one of my friends, and he actually has been working to fix some stuff on his YouTube channel. He does have a YouTube channel that only has like 20 subscribers or something, but he's working to get to more, of course, um, so he asked for my support, of course, I'm give it to him, just that kind of guy. Like, sometimes, depends on what it is. Um, but yeah, this could be another end of the video, hope you all enjoyed. That's a house.